So today guys we're going to be painting some tyres using free paints from Secret Weapon with tyre black, rubber and rubber highlights. So first we're going to do a base coat of tyre black, two thin coats on a previously primed grey war bike tyre and we're just going to try and get the best Best. Well, this paint is pretty nice, to be honest. Seems to be going on very smoothly. Although, although it's a dark colour, it does require two thin coats, which isn't really a problem because it's pretty standard in paint in this day and age isn't it really I wish that when I started painting someone told me to do two thin coats and to, to thin all my paint stands and stuff like that because it would have helped a lot now I always use a larger brush this is actually a size 5 you can see that there size 5 so I find that when you're not doing you know small details just use a large brush Gets a ping on quicker than doesn't it? But yeah, definitely need two thin coats. I found that with with this weather being so hot in England at the moment, the paint is drying out a lot quicker. So sometimes I've been putting an extra drop of water in the mix. It's like I'm doing that now. And the temperature, the heat, just, just, it's just evaporating. Not literally, but you, you know what I mean. So as always, with my camera work, I always try and change the the angle, change the the view of for the viewer, just to improve things. Use a bit more, give it a good shake. Let's do two more drops because it's easier to work out how much you're using. And literally, I'll show you on camera these paints. Look at this. If you can see this, but literally, I'm squeezing that one drop. That's how good these droppers are. They don't look anything spectacular, do they? And then just dip, dip the paintbrush in the water, put a bit of water on it, and again. See, because I am doing two thin coats, I'm thinning the paint down quite a lot as well. I just want it to flow on. Not worrying if it's going on any of the bike because this will be eventually painted silver and red and whatnot. Red makes the vehicles go faster, as we all know. But yeah, that's the first coat done. On this bike, for some reason, there's a rear tyre. On some of these orc bikes, there's no rear tyre, is there? So this is going on a lot quicker. People probably think I'm getting paid for this, but you know the asset drop discovery boxes. It literally does what it says on the on the, the side of the tin. I've discovered this new paint because I've subscribed to that box. Now I know some people say it's a waste of money, but and that obviously that's your that's your prerogative, that's your opinion, which you're entitled to. But for me, I've got a little bit of disposable income. And obviously this hobby is, as we've already established, quite expensive anyway. So I don't mind getting this subscription service 
be introduced to all brand new paints. So anyway, this is what it looks like. I might not even have to do two coats in that. Saying that, yeah, I'll do two thin coats definitely. I'll do the second coat off camera. There's no need to bore you again. Um, so when I return, it should be dried and we can go into the next stage. Two thin coats already applied. I think it looks really quite nice. It's, I don't know if you can tell on, on, on the video, but it's got like a greeny black effect. Anyway, we're gonna next, the next stage we're gonna use the rubber color. Um, we're gonna dry brush this, thank God, happy days. One of the most easiest and effective techniques within the whole painting and the whole hobby. Um, as you know, I love love dry brushing. It's so easy, so eff effortless as well. So yeah, we're gonna dry brush this, and this is basically gonna bring up all all the raised areas and give it that worn effect. So I'm gonna give this a good shake. So now this one sounds a lot thinner than the other paint, the other one. So what I'm going to do, it's a little bit of a cheat, so you don't have to use a palette. I'm going to put a bit on here. That's a dry brush. Army painter, dry brush. So obviously it's dry. Dab it in there. Get it all in the bristles, work it in. Make it into the bristles. I'm just going to lightly highlight and dry brush over. I oh, should have glued these in, but I didn't, unfortunately. It's so so simple this method. A bit of a closer look. I'm going to go like that and cross it. It's a great and simple method, like I've said. I'm going to repeat myself twice there. Um, yeah. Do it again, a bit more. Work it into the bristles. I think I'm going to do two thin, two, not two thin coats. I think I'm going to do two coats of dry brush on this because I do want it to stand out and look really worn. Don't forget, this is an old bike at the end of the day. A little bit closer, closer view there. See, I can see it from obviously where I'm sitting, but I'm looking through the camera now. I'm not too sure whether it is coming out. Hopefully it is. Hopefully you can see the difference. So you can see the difference on here. Not too sure if the light's too light. <laughs> Not sure if the light's too bright. Um let that dry. Go to the next stage. Final stage. Do a final highlight to provide a bit more contrast using the rubber highlight paint by Secret Weapon. Give it a good shake, pop it on your palette. Do not wash it, wet your brush, do not clean your brush, just use the same brush from before. Pop it on here, make sure you do get more off. So I think this highlights a lot more lighter, isn't it? Look at that, compared to that. Massive difference. So, let's have a little go. Move the angle up to the top light. Oh, 
tie looks a little bit wonky, doesn't it? Well, we can blame it on the orc mech who made it. What an idiot. See, I may do two coats of this. I'm not sure if you can see it properly. Hoping you can. So I can see it in person, but I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. I've never put this much effort into doing any sort of tyre before. I've just painted it black and got on with my day, to be honest. But I suppose being a part of social media, the amount of amazing painters that, painters that I come in contact with every day, I've got to step my game on them. So, it's not too bad. I'm happy with that results. So, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new here, leave a comment if this has helped, or even let me know whether you've used this paint before. If you even subscribe to Acid Drop, let me know, and I'll see you soon. And hopefully, in future videos, we can paint the rest of this bike. Okay, nice one, guys. Cheers. Drop.